Project Baltimore went to the Maryland Department of Human Services headquarters in downtown Baltimore. Suites 1000 to 1900. To try to get answers from DHS leadership. Hello. Hello. Good My name is Chris Pabst. I'm from Fox 45 News. We're trying to speak with Secretary Lopez about a public safety concern. Over the past month, Fox 45 News has emailed multiple questions to DHS about public safety that have not been directly answered. We've been trying to get an interview for more than a month. So we went to their state offices to try to get answers in person. But we were told to stay in the lobby because we didn't have an appointment. DHS is a government office, but it's located in a private building which limits public access. I can just walk into City Hall. I don't need an appointment. I can't just walk into DHS. No. The answers we want concern our recent investigation into MS-13 gang member and convicted murderer Walter Martinez. Last month, Project Baltimore broke the news that after Martinez killed Kayla Hamilton in July of 2022 in Harford County, the then 16-year-old was placed in foster care with Child Protective Services, which is under DHS. Even though Aberdeen police told CPS that Martinez was a gang member and murder suspect, he was placed in two foster homes and two public schools, first in Baltimore County and then Harford County. He could have hurt you. He sure could. Angela Studevant provided care for Martinez at his first foster home in Baltimore County. She said she was not told he had a violent past. I think that was awful and despicable. That, that put me in the line of fire that I didn't even know that I was in. After we interviewed Studevant, we asked DHS in an email, if confirmed by police, does DHS tell potential foster care providers that the minor in their care is a violent gang member or is the suspect in a violent felony? But DHS did not directly answer our questions. Instead, they sent us a link to state law concerning foster parents' rights, which does not address how DHS handles information regarding violent juveniles. They never tell you the truth. This foster care provider, who asked not to be identified for fear of losing their job, said DHS has a history of not talking. You like in the gang, you don't snitch. Within their circle, you don't snitch, you don't talk. But DHS Secretary Rafael Lopez, who was sworn in in early 2023, apparently believes in transparency. Just last week, he spoke at a conference in Maryland where he listed values that his department shares with Governor Westmore's administration. The first value, be responsive. Also included on the list is over-communicate. Would it help if I call somebody? With those values in mind, while we waited inside DHS's building, we left a message for DHS Press Secretary Lillian Price. Hi, Lily. This is Chris Papps from Fox 45 News. We also left a message with Director of Communications, Stephen Patterson. Hey, Stephen. This is Chris Papps from Fox 45. I'm at 25 South Charles Street, hoping that I can speak with someone from DHS. We were then told by security, we can't record in the building. If you want to film, you have to film from outside. Okay. But could go outside and wait for someone to come down. We waited for 30 minutes. No one spoke to us or called us back. Since we weren't allowed inside DHS's offices to speak with leadership, we wrote another email, this time asking for Secretary Lopez's public events schedule for the next two weeks. We added, if Secretary Lopez would like to make himself or a member of his staff available for an interview, we will accommodate. Project Baltimore will continue to try to get answers from the Department of Human Services and Secretary Lopez. We will keep you updated on our progress. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. I'm Chris Pabst. Thanks for watching. Here's another story to watch. Also, if you have a story idea, please send us a message.